This video is for adult collectors only, don't forget to read the disclaimer. Hey, what's up guys, Kendo here, and today we have an unboxing video for you guys. So, as you read from the title, I do have the newly released UX08 Silver Wolf 380FB. I also nabbed me a couple of random boosters here, BX31 random booster volume 3 and bx35 random booster volume 4 so we're gonna get all the lame stuff out of the way so we're just gonna leave this on the side here and then we're gonna open random booster volume 3 first since it was the first release i don't know how i could i don't remember the the way to do it just to not see i just hope that i get at least one of the uh part with quake for this uh, that looks like hold on let's see Okay, thank goodness. Just slide that open. And let's get this out real quick, so. Uh, I honestly just want to see if I could get a black shell, or at least, at least for volume four, a, a black shell, or one of the rods or phoenix wings. Because I have a combo that I have ready that will be color matched. Uh, for this, I want to get at least Tyranno Beat or one of the bays with the Quake bit. So, let's just put this away. I am definitely going to throw this away because I already have a box like this. So, I don't need that. so let's start with the bit. Yeah, and we got... Oh, that's a Quake and it's purple. So, I do got a Quake bit, but it is Rhino Horns. I mean... That's fine. Uh, I don't have a rhino horn anyway, so it's good to have it in the collection. So we got Quake for the bit and for the ratchet. We have a very, very beautiful purple 580 here. I mean, it's it's good. I, I don't really use 580 that much. I mean, if I used it on Night Shield, which I don't have. I mean, I do have a Night Shield, but it's broken. But now here is rhino let me get a scale real quick. I keep forgetting that I need to get the scale. So I got me the scale here and we'll turn it on. Like, um, you know what I'm not even going to say. Anyway, let's weigh the parts. So for Quake, we have 2.4 grams. Next, we got 580. And this weighs 7.3 grams. And finally, we have a beautiful looking purple rhino horn and this weighs... 33 on the dot. Not the heaviest one, but you know, no, well, not the heaviest bay. It's a bay nonetheless. Right, once we put the combo together, we have 42.3 grams for rhino horn. So I'm just gonna leave rhino horn up there. I'm gonna move the scale to the side and then move on to the next random booster. The X35 volume four, like I said. So you might be asking where I got these bays. Well, I got them off of Mall of Toys, not sponsored by the way, cause this channel is kind of like a whatever post channel. I'm not really a Baytuber. I mean, I initially, initially I wanted to be a Baytuber, but I mean, my previous name BioBurst was kind of like a Baytuber type name, so. All right. Ooh, this has some cardboard on it. I wonder why. All right, let's see what the bay is. I also already have a bay, like a, like from this set, but I don't have the box, so I hope I don't get a dupe uh, from this from this set, which I pray to God I don't. Because if I do, I'm gonna freak. They tighten these up real crazy. Like, no way, did I? Hold on. Next thing that comes out of this is 570. Oh my fucking god. Spoke too fucking soon. Oh, here it is. My second dupe of Viper Tail 570 dot. Well, at least I have a new dot. I have a new dot now, so. 
that was really disappointing though honestly i was really disappointed with that i was like there's no way there's no fucking way that was such a letdown i would love to buy a full set and then get a third dupe a viper tail you know what when i go to the the next tournament that i'm going to i'm going to give this one away i'm going to give this viper tail away because i don't really need it all right let's weigh it down so we're gonna start with dot dot weighs 2.1 grams Next, we got 570. Okay, it switched from 6.8 to 6.5. Okay. Now we have Viper Tail. 34.5 from what I can read. Let's put the bay together. And yeah, there we go. The bay weighs 43.3 grams. Now we have two bays of a certain color. Fun. And now we can move on to UX08 Silverwolf. So this bay comes with a, a winder launcher. What the hell is this? A caution guide? What the f why is there a caution guide here? That's- that is weird. There's a caution- there's caution plate paper in there. I don't know if any- Baytubers gotten that at all, but at least when unboxing it live and instead of just talking about the bay. Ah, fucking tape. I hate tape so much. I am not gonna pull the paper out, but the next releases you'll see are like Samurai Saber, Nightmail, and Crimson Garuda. I'm not buying Crim Crimson Garuda, honestly. I would buy it for the bit and the 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 layer. Or the blade but i'm not gonna buy it probably later all right now let's first talk about the winder so a theme with the winders is that they have the main color on the ripcord and the prongs here so silver wolf so it's got like a silver coloring for every ux release they have this kind of launcher color set up while it's the the bx line has just a plain black um winder color the last starter i believe was i guess actually i don't know maybe i think it was arrow or shield i don't remember but they had winders i remember that i mean if you want to count the battle entry ones i don't really count them because they're just more like they're, sm they're just the same base but like different but anyway you know eight and a half rotations has a silver color i do like this like shine on the text here whereas like bx just has just like plain text plain white text with nothing special on it it is cool so yeah silver wolf's winder launcher that's going into the db stadium that i have so let's, uh, let's open the base real quick let me just take them out all of their um take them out, out of their packaging and then we're gonna go from the bottom to the top the first part that we have is the bit free ball free ball is essentially makes the bit free spin so I'm gonna grab my Phoenix Rudder, for example, here. So uh, the combo that I had on that, and I'm probably not gonna use in tournaments because it's gonna get slain crazy, was a uh, Phoenix Rudder 970 with ball. So the main gimmick with this is that, so as with a regular bit, it kind of clicks in. You don't hear it, but you can kind of see it. Whereas if you did free ball, it moves freely. I don't know how competitively viable it is. I haven't seen any videos on Silver Wolf at all because I was like, I have my own thing, so I might as well just make a video about it. But yeah, that's that's free ball. And another thing that's different is that it has little notches on there. You can't see it, but I will put a picture on screen of the notches on there. And also, it, it is it is a 12 gear ratio bit, and the different and the the way you can tell the difference is this the the teeth gears here that holds i guess the the bit in doesn't make it move that much and uh how big the ball is so this is much smaller it's like an in-between of ball and orb so that's what free ball kind of is with this ball here so the main gimmick of silver wolf is that it has a free spin ability so that's what this whole gimmick is about next we have 380 nothing to walk home about it's just a clear plastic with black coloring for the contact points for 380 to tell the difference between 60 70 and 80 and soon 85 and 80 height has this little disc that goes around the ratchet that's why you tell it's 80 height with a 70 height it's hexagonal in shape and then you can't see it because it's clear plastic but 
right here there should be like a little indent here but i'm gonna put my finger in there it's um it's slanted and this thing is octagonal i said a hexagonal but whatever now we get to the main blade and the blade we have here is silver wolf so the main gimmick for silver wolf's blade is that it has a free spin gimmick indicated <laughs> indicated on the back here you can see it free spins it also kind of just curves down a bit here so that's pretty cool it lines up with itself when it's you know when it's not and then you can make it fully circular so i don't know yeah they they um they screwed it in down here so they don't make it you know nobody can mod it the whole gimmick is that this blue bit on the bottom it free spins and i assume these are kind of like i don't know what these are i know wyvern gale has them but it's on the inner side but i assume this is just for you know keeping the free spin gimmick in check not really free spin if there's a bit of friction on it don't you think this is the free spin bay silver wolf in all its glory yellow is a bit off putting let's weigh the bay twitter everything else i've seen says it's like 36 something 36 close to 37 grams first we'll weigh free ball free ball weighs 1.5 grams that is the lightest i've known i don't know if there's any lighter but yeah so now let's move on to 380 380 weighs 7.1 grams all right next and not least we have silver wolf the blade so let's see how much this weighs 36.7 this is something to walk home about i was kind of scared like when i saw the image releases for it um i was scared for it to be thin just because of how it's shaped i was not expecting it to be this heavy but what the jimmy here we go silver wolf uh i will not be doing test battles on it because that would be a whole thing and i don't really want to do test battles right now but yeah let me know if you guys want me to do whatever like beyblade wise i am going to test this on hell's hammer uh, at least quake quake is awesome i also pre-ordered night mail and samurai saber because a i want the draw <laughs> i want the launcher for samurai saber and the set is amazing it comes with a variety of good stuff dry uh, bits um ratchets blades i really want tyranno beat in my collection so yeah i also need to get a black shell there too so thank you guys for watching this video if you did don't forget to uh like comment and subscribe for you know more Beyblade content if you guys want me to do Beyblade content on here which i'm most likely gonna do whenever i get the chance uh and yeah i'll see you guys later bye